Good morning. Good morning, family and everyone everywhere. This morning, I will speak on the importance of Christ's sacrifice. Amen? I will start out with John 19.30, when Jesus said, it is finished. Tetadestai, an accounting term, meaning paid in full. Matthew 27, 50 to 51, meaning the debt owed by man to God, to God, his creator, is paid in full. This is settling the account that Adam's sin owed. It is finished, says that he not only removed your sin, but by his blood, it is signed, sealed, and delivered. It is finished. The earth shook and the veil of the temple ripped. The veil of the temple, the temple which hid the Holy of Holies, the Ark of the Covenant, and symbols of God's presence. But no one, no mere man, made Jesus die on a rugged cross to seal our deliverance, to seal our deliverance from sin. It was love and obedience love for us and obedient to, obedience to the Father. When Jesus said it is finished on the cross, it meant that he provided the only salvation to remove our sin and the only way we have to God is through him. John 14, 6, Acts 4 and 12. It is only through the shed blood of Christ that we can put to death our sin and put on Christ. Colossians 3, 5 to 14. 1 John 1 and 9, you must confess your sins to God in the name of Jesus, who was faithful and just to forgive and to restore your fellowship to him. We are not to ever fear physical or eternal death. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. Spiritual death is hell. Jesus and his kingdom has destroyed Satan's power because Jesus' work is finished. The strong man, Satan, is bound by Jesus, our Savior, the Savior of humanity, the Savior of our Lord's creation. We are that humanity. We are God's creation. And no devil in hell or on earth can change what we have in Christ, in Christ Jesus and his sacrifice today and forevermore. Christ Jesus gave us, his people, triumph over death and the grave, Romans 8, 18 to 24. His work is and always will be finished. Now and forever more, we are enabled to live as new creations in him. Every day we are created anew. I love the book of Psalms. David, he just cries out to God continually in the book of Psalms. He's always praying to God for everything. Everything that, that, that he's running from or running to, he, he calls out to God. He needs him in every way. In Psalm 28, David says, I pray to you, O Lord, my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you are silent, I might as well give up and die. Hallelujah. So, all the work that Christ did on the cross, this does not mean we won't suffer. David wrote psalms crying out in his suffering in that psalm that I just read. Has anything ever made you feel like you wanted to die? Even as a wonder mom, wonder woman, wonder man, we all get tired or become ill. All kinds of disasters can overtake us in this world. And we suffer 
And these are the times that we must call on Christ even more because regardless of how many doctors that we go to, the only one that can ease the pain of that suffering is God through his son's blood in the name of Jesus. I cannot trust myself, but in God who raises from the dead. Only in him can I trust. I can't even trust myself, especially when I'm suffering and I'm ill. But he has delivered me. He does deliver me. He has delivered me in past tense. He does deliver me in the present. He will deliver me. That's the future. What he's done before, he will do again. And sometimes we wonder why doesn't he answer when we call on him. Sometimes he doesn't answer because we want to hear yes. And God is saying no. And this we have to deal with, just as Paul had to deal with it in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Now, Paul, he had pleaded with God to remove this messenger from Satan, this thorn that was in his flesh. And I'm sure we have also wrestled with God and, 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 and pleaded with him. That's what I've been doing. I've been pleading with him. But the pain and the suffering still here. So God says, no, there's something else that I got to do. And, and, and this suffering, it hasn't killed me. So it must be making me stronger because I got to cry out to God, just like David did in Psalms. We all have to do that. David was a, a warrior. He won so many battles, all the battles. That's why Saul was jealous of him. I remember when, when, when the maidens, when, when they chanted, when they came back from war and they chanted how Saul had killed, what, thousands? But David had killed 10,000. So it makes us stronger when we cry out to God. It makes him know that we cannot do anything without him. His sacrifice lets us know that. He's a jealous God. He didn't do all of that and say, I'm finished and yet have more to do. We have more to do. We have to cry out to our Savior because he finished. We are his finished work, but we got to prove it by continually calling out on him, by suffering, pain. Sometimes we go through so much pain and, and we think we're going to get well, and God might say no. But we don't stop serving him. Even in our suffering and our pain, we cry out to him and we thank him. We thank him for what he has done. And we know whichever way, we win, we win, we win. And... Uh, This is my teaching for today. No matter what, his grace is sufficient. Remember that. His grace is sufficient. Whatever you might be going through, it's his grace that allows you to go through it. And now I'd just like to say a prayer for myself and for everyone in the sound of my voice. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you for this day, Lord God. 
this day is like no other. Hallelujah. And if you see fit that we be here tomorrow, it will be an even greater day. Hallelujah. We just thank you for loving us, Lord, for loving us, for finishing that wonderful work you did. Hallelujah. And to let, and letting us know, Lord God, that you are still not finished with us yet. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.